Hi everyone, it's your favourite pseudo football expert, Edo Damonte, here to take you through my Premier League DraftKings lineup. You select eight players and you can go for big, big prizes. Let's begin in goal with Martin Stekalenberg of Everton. Oh, who questioned this guy at the start of a season? Oh, wait, that was totally me. Yes, at 5,200, the formerly error prone Dutch goalkeeper is now one of the uh, cornerstones of this Everton team. The price, expensive, yes, but they're playing Bournemouth. Everton have contained teams really well this season. Yes, there's the possible return of Junior Stanislas, but I do think that Everton will have this game in their pocket and punish uh, the former championship side on the counter, so the price is good, and I'm really counting on a clean sheet here. They've been inaccurate up front. Callum Wilson needs to get more consistent. Let's turn to the defence now. Right, not much of a chance of a clean sheet here with George Friend, but he gets regular crosses. At the start of a season, not... not Few people had uh, the Borough man as a potential England player in future. Let's not say the near future, but he's looked pretty good so far in the Premier League. He's up against Tottenham, yes, but those fullbacks do like to go on a foray, so think about tackles, think about interceptions, clearances, and of course himself going up front. They are playing at home, so there'll be a few crosses there. My other guy is someone who's looking really established for Liverpool, Joel Matip, uh, another former Bundesliga star. I'm a really big fan of those. At 3,000, I'm counting on a clean sheet here on a composed performance. He's really made Lovren look better as well, which is uh, not the, quite a remarkable feat in itself. And he's actually quite dangerous a header. I'm, of course, an Inter Milan fan. I remember this uh, Cameroonian man from the time he punished Inter in the Champions League when Schalke beat the Nerazzurri 5-2 at the San Siro. So he can be a threat on dead balls. Let's move on to the midfield now. Well, that's a lot of guys who scored last week. Nasser Chadley at 5,700 if he keeps playing like he played last week. And he's playing against Stoke. So that's a guarantee in itself. The Potters are in big, big trouble at the moment. West Brom suddenly look a lot, a whole lot more dangerous up front. Rondon himself has been scoring as well. Berahino hasn't been playing badly, but hasn't necessarily been scoring. At 5,700, I think that's a steal. Hermin Son is another late riser. Well, we say late riser. Uh, before last weekend, he did have four goals in as many Premier League appearances. So he kind of... You know, he was going to leave this summer, but all of a sudden, you know, it seems like Pochettino managed to convince him. And he's now managed to turn the career into quite the weapon on the left. He does look like he's going to start, and he's looked pretty good so far. 5,900, he can be a little bit error-prone on the goal, but can also get those crosses in. It's very involved in build-up too. So, at a shade under 6,000, he is good value. We move on now to the striker. Ooh, Sergio Aguero. Will he be angry about that suspension? Answers on the postcard, please. Ian Nacho has been scoring... Uh, since he left, and now they're playing Swansea, who have uh, Matt and Fernandez at centre-back. Can you guess how this game's going to end? It's not going to end well. For the Swans, 10,500 may seem pricey, but it's not absolutely ridiculous. And Aguero, you know, will be involved in the goals, whether scoring them or assisting them. He's really good value. Uh, we move on to Romelu Lukaku, who is playing Bournemouth. Need I say more? Well, yeah, he's back in the goals. He's looked good. He's fit now. So, and Kuman does look like he's going to count on him as well. He's got Belgian teammate Morales feeding him, Del Lefeu, that whole team is playing really well. So, Yank Balassi, of course, how can I forget? Jamie Hinks, former Palace hero. And now we end up with Solomon Rondon. Just look at that price, 6,700 for Solomon Rondon, a guy who can pop up at any time and score. He's a really dangerous player. Got, he has a good shot per game ratio as well. So keep an eye out for this very dangerous Venezuelan. Anyway, uh, this is my lineup. Good luck at DraftKings this weekend. Welcome to the big time.